One of the more common questions among new members of the Bricks Builder community is how to rotate the accordion icon depending on whether it's open or closed. This quick tip video is an opportunity to not just show you how to rotate the accordion icon but to also control the behavior of other elements depending on the presence or absence of a CSS class. This will be made clearer as we progress in this video. So here we are inside of Bricks Builder and I have my nestable accordion which by the way should not be confused for the regular accordion in Bricks so you want to make sure you are using the accordion nestable. So this gives us access to all of the elements that make up this accordion. So as you can see I have the accordion here the wrapper and then you have each item listed here in the wrapper. Then each item contains a title block, a heading and an icon. So I've gone ahead to give them individual CSS class names so it's easier to target them and control their behavior in bulk. So you can see I have the item which I've named FAQ accordion uh, double underscore item and then title, heading and icon. This is a very important step here. So you want to make sure you have your elements properly labeled with understandable CSS classes. Obviously, I'm using the BEM naming convention, so it's easier to track these things. I've only gone ahead to add these class names to the item, the title, heading and icon, and then also the content wrapper. Everything else inside content doesn't have a class, but, but that's for the sake of this example and your mileage may vary. So. I'm going to share the CSS code. It's a very small snippet that allows us to control the behavior of the icon and get it to rotate when it's open. So I'll just right click here and inspect. Then somewhere around here, I'm just going to click anywhere because I need this for this example to demonstrate the code. So I'll come here, add a new style rule, click there and paste my CSS snippet. Now the CSS snippet is going to be shared in the description so you can also copy that quickly and apply it but I'm going to show you how it works and why it works the way it does. Here I have Bricks open FAQ accordion icon. First let me just comment this out so we can focus on the rotation. So now that I have this out you notice what happens. It rotates but there is no transition involved so this whole snippet has two parts. The first part of the snippet tells the icon to rotate by how many degrees, that's 90. And then the second part of the snippet, which I just commented out, basically defines the transition from its previous state to its current state. Now I'll explain how and why this snippet of code works. Let's go back into the elements. Now we'll click on this item and see what happens in the DOM. So I click here and notice something happens to this list of class names here. I'm also going to open it up here so we can see the list of classes. So when it's closed, we have only three classes assigned to this item. You have your, your bricks block, which is general. So you don't want to use that for targeting your FAQ accordion item. And then there's this listening class. Now this is our custom class, the one we added there which is going to come into play as quite important shortly. And then when I click to open any of these accordion elements, you notice that there is an extra class that is dynamically added using JavaScript. And then when I toggle it, it goes away, indicating that it's in its default state. And so what we're going to do using CSS is to say, whenever you have the BRX open class present here, do this to the icon which is contained in the title container. So you have this icon here that has the FAQ accordion icon. So we're going to write our rule to target BRX open class that has a child somewhere named FAQ accordion icon. And then with that selector, we can then specify a behavior that could be to rotate the icon in this case, or even change the color of the heading, which I'm also going to demonstrate for good measure. So let's go back to our snippet and you see what's happening. I'm targeting BRX open. And then I add a space here, which in CSS selectors, whenever you have a space between two class names or 
IDs or element tags, it, it indicates that the following class is a descendant of the first class. Now, whether it's a direct descendant, that is a direct child or a grandchild or a great grandchild, that's irrelevant. The space just says somewhere down your line of descendants is a child named FAQ Accordion Icon. And so if that child is valid or if that selector is valid, then do these things. Now, I've also gone here to add another property to the FAQ Accordion icon itself. So I'm just targeting the icon. I've gone ahead to add a transition property. The transition property basically takes the property that you would like to transition and then the duration of the transition. And finally, the interpolation or the animation graph, which is ease. But, but if you don't specify it in CSS, it automatically defaults to ease as well. So it's easier for us to just write this short snippet of code and the browser takes care of the rest. So now we can see how it rotates. But then what if, let's say you want to change the color of the heading when this accordion or this item is active. You can go ahead and do the same using this same principle. So again, I'm going to come down here. Let's just, and I'll add BRX open. So that tells us whenever the accordion is open, select the following element and do something. So BRX open, we're going to find the CSS class for the accordion here. Remember, we have it here in the title heading and it's FAQ accordion heading. So I'll do just that, just copy this. Now I want to change the color to red. Nothing seems to happen right now, but watch what happens when I activate, when I toggle the accordion. You see, this rotates and the color also changes. We could even add that extra property to the icon as well. So for good measure, let's say change your color as well to red. Obviously, you will also need to transition the color change so it's not so instant. And in the same way, we can add a transition for that as well. So I'll add a comma here for the icon and say color 0.2s. The same goes for the title as well. So I'll add that also add a transition. So now it may not be as noticeable because these durations are quite quick. It will have just 200 milliseconds, but it's working. I'll just increase this so it's more obvious. So I'll make this, uh, let's say one second. And now watch how slowly it happens. You see that? So that's pretty much how this works. The next question now would be, how do we implement this inside of Bricks Builder? Well, it's quite simple. Everything has been laid out here for us. So we just need to slot them in where we want. I'll get rid of some of these things. I think I like the, the color as it is and the speed of the rotation at 0.2 seconds. So I think our code it has reached its perfect state for this example. So now how do we implement this in Bricks Builder? So we have our snippet here and I would like to take advantage of the class placeholder name in Bricks Builder so that in future, in case we need to change the class names of the elements, for example, the FAQ accordion icon, we can always do that without breaking our custom code. So for the accordion icon, I'm going to copy these two snippets of code and apply them to the accordion icon that is this one wherever I find it so I'll select this remember we're using class name so whatever we do to this one affects every other element that has that same class name which includes these other icons so we can easily focus on just one item and we know it's affecting it every other place on the page or on the website I'll select the icon here now FAQ accordion icon and just paste that snippet of code now watch what Bricks Builder does to this class name now just toggle out of there and come back into the the item let's see yeah so now it replaces it with the root selector which is our placeholder selector so that in future if we need to update this class name it's not going to break our custom css so that's pretty smart and it's something to keep in mind when you need to organize your custom code so again i'm going to take this portion of the code as well and just copy that paste it here you could do that here, or you can add this style rule inside of the transition box that is attached to this same class. So it's exactly the same behavior, but 
well, I like custom CSS. And the same thing happens, it's going to replace it with the root selector, which is exactly what we want. Now I'll do the same to the heading as well. You notice it's already taking effect in the builder. So I'll select the heading and make sure your class is selected and paste that here. Hit enter. And again, when we come back to the element, it changes it to the root selector. Now, when I save and come back to the front end, everything has been cleared. All our custom code, everything is cleared. So, but it's already implemented from the back end. Now you can see how it works. So that's how you animate your accordion icon. And not just that, adjust the behavior of your elements inside of Bricks Builder. Feel free to post in the comments if you have any questions or need clarification. And if you found this tutorial helpful, I'll encourage you to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on more nifty tutorials that I have planned. You can also go the extra mile by using the link in the description to buy me a coffee or three if you found this video valuable. So like, see you in the next one. Stay nifty.